Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to a new career mode. And you may have seen me do one of these before. A couple of months ago, I started the Manchester United career mode. And I didn't finish it. Well, I did finish it, but I finished it in my own time. I did five episodes. And I just got bored. But this time, there's going to be an objective. And it's going to be a little bit different. This time, the in the summer transfer window, and preferably in the January transfer window, we won't be signing any players. We're going to go with the squad we have. But um, obviously, domestic, continental, brand exposure, critical, youth development, I'm always very good at de developing good youth players. That's medium. Financial is low. That's good for me. But we're not going to be spending any money anyway. And this time, I will be managing the club. Not uh, Jose Mourinho. So I'm going to uh, get all this set up. And I will see you in a sec. So we've got our manager set up. I've gone with one that's kind of young-ish looking um, <clears throat> obviously in the suit because we all know as a manager you need to be looking dapper and um, so we're gonna click that through we're gonna be playing a world class six minute half length that sounds all good to me squad you've done the latest yep uh, sterling um, European, European competition we are in the Champions Cup so we need to uh, draw more seeded teams and we should be here but um, I'm gonna put us into uh, group A with uh, as many teams as I can and uh, I don't all I can, Zoria are not in the game but we've got group A United, Fire Lord, Fenerbahce and we've got HJK they won't um, be too much of a threat but um, all that set up so we're going to go in and uh, have a look at the squad and have a look at our objectives Okay then, so we have got the pre-season tournament invite which I'm going to advance into. Um, looks like this one's got the most money. The team's going to be a bit challenging. Um, they are pretty challenging teams to be honest. But we don't really need the money and getting the trophy will be good. So we're going to go to the Champions Trophy. And uh, just a quick heads up, two things. You may have noticed I've changed the camera angle. I was sort of recording more the side of my face, but I've repositioned the camera. It's more kind of as head on as I can get it until I have money to get uh, new equipment. But um, And also, a quick heads up, I will be recording these episodes in bulk. For example, tonight I plan to get at least two episodes done, so if you do leave any comments, I will be reading them, but you may not see them implemented until a few episodes later on just because it's easier for me and I just want to get a few career modes finished this FIFA so I can say I've actually played something on FIFA because last year FIFA was not good for me and I did get a little bit bored of FIFA but um, I'm back on it so uh, we're going to have a look in the office we've got some emails, champions, trophy, don't give a crap, shirt sales, they want 117 million I'm sure we'll get that, we've got lots of star players and um, should be no issue transfer market information, we don't care, we'll have a look at the objectives in a minute First scout report, not looking for any players and don't want a scout email. So we're going to have a look at our objectives. Okay then, so having a look at our objectives, our overview, our latest objective, within three seasons in the Champions Cup, win the Cup. I think we'll be able to do that. I think the most this crew made might be three or four seasons at the most. But if we blitz through it, I'm sure we'll be... Uh, get it done in no time at all. Um, qualify to the Champions Cup. That's top four. I'm pretty sure you can get top four. And um, that's actually good, actually, because um, normally it's win the league. Cause that takes a little bit of the pressure off. But for the Euro League, aka the Europa League, we do have to win that. And I think we should win that, to be honest. Unless something drastic happens in the Champions League and a big team drops down. So our youth development, we must have within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season to play at least 50% of the games in the next season. That could be tricky. But um, we'll have a we'll see what we can do. Brand exposure 170 from shirts and earn 323 million through media earnings within three seasons. That's a new one, I haven't seen that one before. Uh, financial we don't have any objectives which is good because United man uh, we all know Manchester United are stinking rich. Oh, and our domestic success actually, um, 
Yeah, we do have to win the league title and we do have to win the FA Cup. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. Continental success uh, is all that. We've already looked at that. So uh, we're going to be first, actually, as we have them. Not a financial takeover, but scouting a future star to try and help us with that um, objective there. And we'll have something in the office about that in a minute. There we go, as you can see. Got a scout on the way. But um, we have a few players here, so I'm going to sort all this rubbish out and then we'll have a look at the team. So just quickly having a look uh, here, um, we'll just quickly browse through all these. These are all strikers I think we should sign. Not looking to sign anyone, sorry. But um, we do have one, two, three, five star scouts and three four star scouts which will probably be out of upgrade because um we do want the top talents around the world at Manchester United obviously but um so we're gonna have a look at the team I'm gonna sort out first team and a second team just in case and then uh I'll catch you right in a minute so this is the kind of formation that uh is defaulted um, but I'm not over keen on this formation. I'm actually going to change to something a little more like. We could go for something like that. But I'm not sure if I like the narrow version or the wide version. We'll start with the. We'll start with the narrow version and we'll see how we get on. I'm going to quickly change the team up set any instructions that we may need and see where we can go from there. So this is the first team I have uh, set up. We're just going to quickly run through an instruction for Ibrahimovic here to um, stay central because we don't have him drifting right with his speed. But uh, everyone else is... Um, we might give Rooney some um, more... Actually no, we're going to just keep him rigid. And um, so this is the team we got. We got the big boy David De Gea there. Um, Luke Shaw on the left. Um, obviously not what United are doing at the moment. The only defender that United are actually playing at the moment in this team is Valencia because he is an absolute tank. But um, I mean, look at them stats. The stats are pretty. Not maybe not the skill attributes, but physical, mentally, he's very good. Bailey and Samora at the back. I think they're a very good partnership on this game. Luke Shaw again, a very good player. Then Paul Pogba and Herrera in the midfield. I know Carrick's playing sort of here. He would be playing just there and then Pogba would be playing where Rooney is. But honestly, this is what I like to use for Manchester United. So um, we're going to sort out the subs bench quickly as well. We've got Rashford, we've got Lingard. We'll keep Carrick there. Anyone else that we think should be going on? Fellaini maybe for Matt. Mm. We'll take Fellaini off from the bench and put in Darmian, and then uh, we'll set up the uh, second team. Okay then guys, this is the second team I've put together, and it's a very strong second team for me. Romero in goal does the job. Rohan Blint, I don't know if I'll be changing these round. Roho is quicker out of both, and... They both do a decent job at left back, so I think I'll just keep him like that. Phil Jones, liking Phil Jones at the moment at United. Not the fastest, but he'll do the job. And Darmian there on the right hand side. Then defensively, we've got Schneidlin and we've got Carrick. Um, then Memphis, Mata, and Lingard as the attacking three with Rashford up top. Now, we've got to bring in some players here that don't get a chance in any of the teams. So. I'm going to be utilising all the players we have here. So um, we're going to have a bit of James Wolfson here as well. We don't have another keeper. Oh no, we do. We have Sam Johnstone. It looks like a bit of a weaker bench, but I don't really mind. We'll do that. Decent subs there. We're going to go and see who our first matchup is in the... Argentinian Cup where you've decided to enter. So the first matchup we have is against Hertha Berlin and I was hoping for a Real Madrid Manchester United final simulated but um looks like we got Real Madrid in our group. 
And it's a pretty tough group actually, but um, before we go into that match against Hertha, well we're not going to go and we're just going to sim it because no one really cares about pre-season tournaments. Um, we're going to have a look at our training now. Training is going to be difficult because you have Rashford you can train, you have Martial we can train, we have Lingard and Memphis we can train. We have Pogba who we can train, we have Timothy Fosu Mensa, Twanzebay, Bailey, Paul, Shaw, Riley, Johnston, all these amazing players that we want to be training up, but uh, we've got to choose one that we want to be training up. And we have James Wilson as well, not forgetting James Wilson. I don't know if I'll be keeping him on or not. But uh, we're going to go Rashford, obviously, because Rashford is a tank. And um, we're going to be putting him um, on just two drills. And then we're going to want Martial doing... He probably won't be on training for too long because he's. Do we have Martial there? We could have it on someone else. Let's have a look. So. We're looking for first team players here, really. And Paul Pogba is just too good. Maybe we have. Hmm. I think I might put Luke Shaw on something now. Maybe his defending and his um, attacking. Because I like my wing, my fullbacks to be rather attacking. And uh, we're going to go with Bailey, I think, on some defensive duties as well. And then see how that goes. I'm going to keep that training for three or four weeks, then see if we can uh, change it up. But from there, we uh gone to Rashford and uh, now we're going to jump into the Hearth Berlin match and uh, see the result. Ok then guys, up against Hearth Berlin, had an email just before the match from Regan Paul saying you wanted to start. And I'm not a manager that's going to do that because, I don't know, can't be bothered to change it all up. But uh, we should easily pull in here against Hearth Berlin and we do get a 3-0 win and David here pulls up with an injury. Are you kidding me? Let's have a look how bad it is. Okay then, so David De Gea is out for two months, um, meaning that he's going to miss the start of the Premier League. Um, obviously there's nothing you can do about that, swimming matches, players get injured. I'm not too sure how he's pulled that injury, but Romero will do a job for now. But uh, that does give Sam Johnson and the second team a chance to step up and maybe show he's worth the third goalkeeper and not bring in someone new. Okay then, in for some more training here. Same training drills I've gone with. Can we get any growth? CCB, DB. Not bad performance over the board, really. But um, we're going to go into the match against RCD Espanyol and see how that goes and see if we can pick up a number three points. Just seeing Real Madrid did draw their game of Espanyol. So uh, hopefully we can go into this here and uh, pick up a win. Put out the first team again. A little bit risky of fitness, but... Um, we did get a one all when one of their players did get a serious injury. So, um. Real Madrid are now top of the group. We have a transfer for Juan Mata from Bayern Munich. But Juan Mata is not for sale, I'm afraid. Whether we'll be selling any of our players, I don't know. I doubt it. I'm planning to keep on everyone and just see how we do over the season. But we're going to get jump into the Real Madrid match. Possibly playing the second team because they are a little bit tired. Have a look at this chance of Ander Herrera, not interested. And uh, see if we can pick up a surprise victory against Real Madrid. Okay then guys, so we can actually play the first team, they were fully fit. They did give Hertha Berlin a thumping as did United, but um, let's see if we can pick up a win. We actually beat them 5-1, but uh, the, the team they're playing was very weak, but... Um, I should be playing a weaker team, but I want my players to be in good form when it comes to the Premier League. And um, we're going to jump in, do some more training again. Another, we'll do probably five training drills and then change it up and see uh, the situations. But Rashford did get a D and an A, meaning he does go up to a 77 already, which is really good. Um, but um, we have got River Plate in the semi finals. There's the prize money, an extra 2 million. And uh, we're going to go into the semi-final and see if we can pick up another fourth consecutive win. 
Okay then, first team again against the replace should be no problem. We've never have they've had one result each time and another three one win. Can have a look at the top scorers for this tournament actually quickly right now. Uh, we're against the Sulo in the final, and look at that. Top scorers for the tournament, Pogba, Mikitarian, Ibramovic, and Martial already on two, Pogba on three. Bit surprising. Then we have Rooney on one, Smalling on one, Herrera on one. Let's have a look at assists. Rooney's got three assists, that's lovely to see. Clean sheets, we've kept no clean sheets. What? Okay then. Press conference, uh, we're just going to uh, unnerve Sassuolo. Because, um, well, who likes Sassuolo? And um, so we're going to jump into the final, obviously simulating because I can't be bothered. Offer here for Chris Smalling quickly from Bayern Munich, rejecting all the offers and disallowing future offers because I can't be bothered to read through transfer offers for players I don't want to sell. Let's jump into the final and see how we do. Final here against Sassuolo, they did beat Real Madrid 2-1. Can we pick up a win and win the tournament? We do get a 1-0. Herrera's picked up an injury. What is it with these injuries? Good news about Ander Herrera, it's only out for nine days, so no issues for us there. In some more training here, same training drills. Training drill number four out of five, I think. So uh, maybe we'll just keep training drills for an episode, actually. Well, this episode anyway, we'll see what happens next episode, but um, I'm hoping to fit in three matches an episode. But uh, quickly here, we're going to have a look at the deals that have already gone down. Lacazette to Wolfsburg for 70, uh, not 70, 47 million. Fairman to Napoli for 30 and a half. Martinez to Arsenal for 24 and a half million. Strange, we're just going to sim through and uh, hopefully we can get to the start of the Premier League. So just looking at the calendar for August, looking at when the Premier League starts on the 14th against Bournemouth, I did realise that we do have the Community Shield to play. So um, we're probably going to sim up to, um, well not sim, we're just going to advance up to that date, play the Community Shield and uh, go to the, uh, play against Leicester for the Community Shield. Okay then guys, a few emails, uh, first one being a scout has returned with a world class player here, uh, Tom Richo, he's only 15, I don't know when his birthday is either. So, um, he's 6 foot 6 and he's 15 already. I mean, uh, he's got some good stats, he's got very good stats. Um, German keeper, I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but I'm um, sure he'll fit in, fit in well. Um, we do have a youth squad monthly report that is only with Richard, obviously. And we do have a training injury to Barakas Rashford, who is out for two months. That's such a hit for the team again. Two of our vital players are out. So uh, I'm going to make the amendments and um, I'll see you in the Cham uh, Community Shield final. Okay, then, so with Rashford picking up some injuries, we do have an extra two slots in training. And I think there's going to go to Anthony Martial. And we're going to put him on some short passing. His short passing could be a bit better for cutting in, getting that vital bo uh, box ball in to Ibrahimovic and getting Ibra a goal. But um, looks sure there's some growth up to 82 overall. Always good to see. And how disgusting is this offer? Just had a transfer offer for. Uh, transfer offer from Anthony Martial from Manchester City 36 million get out of it do you think I'm selling any of my players to Manchester City unless they're garbage and I don't want them not on my account okay then guys so it is the first match for Manchester United at Wembley and hopefully the first of many um, but we've got the Community Shield against Leicester, obviously, a kind of weak inside Romero there, but I'm sure we'll do well. The rest of the team is looking very, very good. So let's jump into the match and see if we can grab a few goals. 
from your own experience. So it looks like uh, Leicester City have purchased his his uh, Brian Shawcross yeah, from here. Stoke City. But we are going to have a look at the lineups yeah, and jump into the, the match. Okay then guys, so my lineup, well, as you've seen, this is then the Manchester it's the usual United suspects United. apart so from David De Gea who has picked up an injury and Romero is stepping in, but I think we got a good chance there obviously, front four very attacking, Leicester City put out again I'd expect, yeah they put out a very good team, there's a few players there that could be a little bit, Daniel Marty, I don't know, there's a few gaps there but um, I'm sure Leicester will do well, but um, realistically we should be uh, winning this game. And that referee is not the uh, referee it showed at the start. So um, let's get into the match and see how we do. So he picks up a free kick here. Um, see if we can whip it in the Herrera. It's a decent ball in, good header. It's going to take the opportunity then break here, Wayne Rooney running onto the ball, if he can get there, here comes Wayne Rooney. Momentum puts Rooney. one over, no one's there, Mkhitaryan is so far back, he's got support here, looking to play his teammate, Leicester through. opening us up like a bloody sausage and they've scored, oh dear, this is not fun, Mares has scored, we need a goal, I've been struggling a little bit on FIFA at the moment, and if this carries on, then I might have to put it down to professional, this is what happens when you don't play FIFA for three weeks, you get crap. However, we could be straight back. Martial isn't going to take no fucking prisoners. Ibrahimovic! And that's an awful touch from Mkhitaryan there. Good opportunity though. Ibra to Wayne Rooney. He's on a run. Ooh, nice tackle there. Martial in here. Just got to finish it. Great save there by Schmeichel. Got down low. Can we get a good corner in with Wayne Rooney? Good ball in, Pogba! Another good save by Schmeichel. Can we get another good ball in here by Wayne Rooney? Bit further out. Get to Bailey. Oh, we got two centre backs on it. Paulie! Oh, what a goal by Paul Popper! That's why we spent 89 million on him. Okay, he doesn't do that in real life, but having that on a career mode helps you so much. Get the ball from the corner. Bailey with the assist, just turns the man through his legs. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at that. See you later, Kasper Schmeichel. You've got no chance, buddy. One all, back in the match, let's go. And that is half time, having a look at the half time stats. Equal, probably realistic to be one all at the moment. We're going to wait for some subs and uh, we'll go into the second half and hopefully we can grab another few goals. Well, Rinovic in here, he's good with a long shot. What a save by Schmeichel. What a strike from Rinovic. Get a corner here, anything from it. Wayne Rooney, decent ball in, not great. Could be a break here for Leicester though if we don't sort this out. Tony V's there though. Quality defender he is. Moves on for Martial. Martial, Ibra, what a save again. And the keeper is keeping Leicester in it right now. Hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. Nice ball in from Rooney. On the edge. Well, it wasn't a chance to really Offside. get in a goal. We're gonna get a corner Leicester here. have got a corner here. Got a few aerial threats. Let's see how we deal with this. Shawcross. We're going to have another corner. Hopefully, we don't concede. Got small in. Brilliant. Brilliant clearance, although it's back he in, back in a dangerous area, and that took a rebound, and that was nearly a Leicester goal, another corner, whoa, nice attempt there by Riyad Mahrez, just off target. Brilliant double save there by Romero, my face was straight, 
and you can barely blame me. And we're going to make some substitutions here. We're going to bring on Juan Mata here for Wayne Rooney. And we're going to bring on maybe... Bring on Jesse Lingard from Mkhitaryan. And uh, see if we can grab a late goal. Over here is Jesse Lingard. You all know what he can do. Lingard. Pogba. Took a reflection of why it might have gone in the top bin. Although a moment like this is too good to waste. Lingard. Ibra, not a great save by Kasper Schmeichel there. Pogba puts the ball in this time. Another one, Ibra. Oh, that was dodgy. Got a rare on this right, left hand side, sorry. Get in for small dog, small dingy dog. Here's Jesse Lingard. Lingard's running in. Can he get one across? Ibra, there we go! It's the 90th minute winner. Ibrahimovic, lovely run here by Lingard. Straight over back post. Ibra, not going to be missing that. 2 1. Have we just won the Community Shield? Let's hope so. And just in the 90th minute now, we have taken off Ando Vera, brought in Michael Carrick, given an appearance, and to see out the game, hopefully. Um, there's not really much added time, because there hasn't been... Okay, there is four minutes. Hopefully we can see this out. Oh, we got another chance here. Oh, and he's tugged his shirt. That's dirty. If that had been the opportunity to win the game, it would have been unfortunate. But it wasn't. We have won the Community Shield, our first competitive match as manager, and we have won the Shield. Claudio Ranieri's man, not enough for big old Slatan Ibrahimovic. Paul Pogba grabbing the goals, and here it is the FA Community Shield, sponsored by Bloody McDonald's. What a great sponsor for a healthy sport, hey? But here he is. Small Dini Dog, captain, as Wayne Mooney has come off, he is our vice captain. Picks up the trophy, and there's the win, baby. That's what we're talking about. Look at them all, great team, great performance. And um, let's simulate, let's get up to the first Premier League match and round off the episode. Another training session, still got Mars yelling there because Rashford is injured. Can we pick up any more overall growth? Martial did good on the beat your man, but that's why you want him to be doing kind of worse because um, he has got that, but um, some decent results there. And there we go, that is the episode over, we're up to the Bournemouth match. Let's have a look at the Premier League table, obviously we haven't played any matches as of yet. But CT, Southampton and Stoke have all picked up wins in their first match. Hopefully we'll be joining them at that list. Top goal scorers Montero, Pereira and Sterling all sat on two. And uh, top transfer deal, Ericsson did move to Liverpool for 38 million. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like. It will be much appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. And hope you guys did enjoy. And goodbye.